start telling me a little bit about uh, what COPD is and how that sort of affects patients' lives before they have a procedure like the one that was done sure. yesterday. So COPD stands for chronic obstructive lung disease mm -hmm. or pulmonary disease. Um, and that's, uh, to make it short, is a common condition and the, the smokers, people who have smoked for a long time, or people who've been exposed to a lot of noxious gases, uh, get you know get in their lungs. Yeah. Uh, it used to happen in the, you know industries that with all the pollution, but ever since the OSHA and all the, the regulation they came, maybe you don't see that as much. So yeah. It's primarily become a, a lung disease by the smokers, mm -hmm. and uh, it has two components: chronic bronchitis and also emphysema, which is the uh, the emphysema is the destruction of the lung tissue, mm -hmm. uh, and you know. Think about it as a lot of black holes in the lung, yep. and the chronic bronchitis are, are the damage or inflammation to the windpipes or the tubes that basically carry the air into the lungs. Mm -hmm. And the combination of these two conditions called COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Mm -hmm. And tell me about the treatment uh, that was done yesterday on the patient. So uh, this is a novel treatment. It's been uh, studied for at least past decade, and uh, to just give you a little bit of history, uh, the, the people who have emphysema or what a say the destruction of the tissue of the lung, um, one of the biggest challenges they have is the lung tissue, which is like a, think about it like a two balloon with like a sponge mm -hmm. formed like a lung that's supposed to inflate and deflate and get the air, air in and out, uh, it get damaged because of the smoking and they have trapped air into that space. So the balloons kind of get inflated and the damaged area kind of hold on the air. So don't let the lung to get the amount of air that is supposed to get in and out, you know, well. Yeah. So the amount of air that they have to breathe in reduces and they feel short of breath. They, don't, they can't really exercise as much because they can't move the air in and out. Now, in the past, they felt like, what if we go take this damaged part of the lung out and let the rest of the lung to expand and work better? So they call that volume reduction surgery at a time. So they decided to take those portions out by opening the chest and cut them out, mm -hmm. which has worked for the, the population that we were looking at. But the challenge was, you know, these are sick people who already cannot exercise and they're quite, in, you know, they believe in it. Yeah. And if you do an open chest surgery on them, the recovery time and the damage and risk was too high. That's why mm -hmm. that procedure didn't become as popular as we initially thought, mostly because it was the very invasive procedure and aggressive surgery. Now, they came up with the idea of what if we, rather than opening their chest and taking those portions out, these portions inflated because they have, a, you know, airways going to them as we breathe in. What if we go just put these plugs or valves and let that area just collapse? Um, so they have done the studies after the studies, and there were some challenges about air moving around and not really collapsing. But at the end, uh, about a year ago, they got uh, FDA approved, mm -hmm. and this valve become approved. So uh, and that's the procedure we did yesterday. We basically, uh, the patient that uh, we, you know, you just met, and we had had a procedure done, had a portion of the right upper portion of the lung damaged and had a very bad emphysema, and in reality that portion was not working and would not let the rest of the lung to expand well. Yeah. So we went in and we placed three small valves that let the air to escape those areas but not go back in, and that area will collapse and help her to breathe better. Mm -hmm.